war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Pissing all by yourself, handsome? Alright, so I ran a poll four months ago. And you all said that Fallout 4 would be a great LEGO game. Now that would have been cool to see four months ago, but I got caught up doing some things, a little sidetracked, maybe a little distracted. I didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> so the farthest I got was just making a character run around and shoot things, which is pretty much all my games. <laughs> And I even started developing a little inventory system. Just a little, a little inventory system. A little drag and drop. A little, 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 little inventory mango DB array elements. <laughs> Building a little SQL table over there. Aww. A little mango DB. You little, 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 you little database slut. But then the project fell off. I was this close to quitting the project, but then I remembered that all of you were counting on me and waiting for Lego Fallout 4, hoping. Hey, what the fuck? So besides the third person and first person animations and interaction that I've done before a few times, I got to work making something that truly felt like a Fallout game. Fats is easily one of the most iconic game mechanics and not putting it in there would be a sin against Todd Howard himself. Now, my version may not be all-encompassing or have really any of the features that the actual games have. I think it's good enough. And oddly enough, no one has tried this, at least from what I could find online. At least no tutorials, so stupid fucking monkey brain, how am I gonna do it? I don't have a tutorial. So I ended up just cobbling together what I thought was code and it turned out pretty well. <laughs> So in order to add copious amounts of addicting jet hydra and maybe some crack, I have developed an inventory system so you can hold all your bullshit. <laughs> It's pretty simple actually, we just have to create a parent actor blueprint class that has children, but you gotta make sure you love and support them, otherwise they're gonna grow up to be a YouTuber. Wait a minute. Once you've successfully done that, you will need to correspond to the detailed structure array that has to be connected to an interactive 3D widget built inside a virtual display screen that can only be accessed by a single boolean. Alright, maybe it's a bit confusing. It works! There it is! It's fantastic! Do you like my little Pip-Boy Lego thing? Now, as you all know, gameplay feel and mechanics are really important to me and 
as a developer, I really feel as though you need to connect with the player and understand what they're thinking. So I called up my friend on Discord and I forced him to play my Lego game for six hours. What's the deal with manipulation? <laughs> I don't know why you prefer first person. Because, you know, I don't know, his head gets in the way of trying to see where the fuck I'm aiming. <laughs> I mean, if you right, oh, bro, this is great. right click, Jesus Christ, have you ever aimed? This is great. Oh my God, literally shitting on it with integrated graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Also, I wasted literally all of my ammo trying to pull that Pick up card. more ammo. Oh. I thought you were a pro gamer, what happened? Yeah, give this controller support and I'll make it even worse. I mean, I could. Bro, you could screen peek, like, if you third person, and then you could shoot around the corner. Oh, you're fucked. You're so fucked. <laughs> As soon as you shoot him, he's just gonna be alerted. Oh god. Hold on, wait, how good is their aim? Like, they're pretty accurate. What the, fu what the fuck? What? Are you shooting? Uh, could you hear me shooting? No. I unloaded like 13 shots into this guy and he didn't even hit. Oh, there you go. You got him. <laughs> I didn't even move my mouse. It was fucking <laughs> crazy. Man. Oh, shit. Also, is that FPS real? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Like, the 15 FPS. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no doubt. There you have it. A satisfied customer of a thrill to will product. What can I say? It's a great game. <laughs> Alright, so for the terrain, this was probably one of the most challenging and confusing issues I had to deal with. My terrain technology has greatly increased from this flat piece of shit to this. Runtime blocks with vertical height data. Different blocks that don't look the same. <laughs> The peak of Lego block technology. The only problem is it's dog shit slow. Well, once it does a loading screen, it's fine, but fuck, it's like three minutes. <laughs> hey, but at least it's super immersive, just like the real thing. Todd Howard would be so proud. Oh, wait, shit, fuck. I think it just solved it, actually. Now three million blocks load under five seconds. Wait, Todd, Todd, no! <laughs> So for the enemies, it's nothing special really, it's just some basic path searching and aimbot wall hacks. I'm also using the same methods as before for changing Lego meshes and materials, so you can have a variety of characters. So to sum it up, we made some pretty cool systems, characters, terrain, and it should be pretty fun to play at least, right? A sandbox filled with Lego characters? in a blocky world that kind of resembles Minecraft with extra steps? That sounds amazing! <laughs> and as always, the game is free, so if you go to the link in the description, you can find it on my itch.io page. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Definitely not anything else. Oh yeah, he added a fat man. <laughs> Got a doll, baby, I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she anything but calm. A regular pint size, I had a bomb. Got a mom, baby, had a bomb. I want her in my wigwam. She's just the way I want her to be. A million lives are empty. Got a mom, baby, had a bomb.